Welcome back again to my channel and to my kitchen, How to Cook. Well, honey, it's on. How to make homemade fried chicken wings taste better than Wingstop in my kitchen every time. Now, be sure that you have subscribed if you have not already and turn on the post notification settings to be reminded every time a girl upload brand new videos. Let's get started. Where you coming from? You don't remember where you coming from? Don't remember where you're coming from Rastafar, I, I Why you turn your back on your brother when him need ya? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed ya You know when no obligation but you win some respect All you need to do is just give him way to get turn your back Okay, my love bugs, let's jump right into the recipe. But before we do that, I am going to show you how to wash and clean your chicken wings properly all right uh, most of the videos that I've been doing I've just been going ahead and show you guys how to clean your chicken because I always want to do it if I do it then I say I want to cook how it comes in never show it off or wash the chicken so I'm not going to skip this one we are going to wash them wings all right now it's really simple to wash it of course your girl always use salt lemon juice and vinegar or lemon lemon or lime if you don't have lemon or lime just go for some lemon juice but you always want to wash it twice two times is always a charm whenever you are making cooking or cleaning your meat all right now go ahead and just let it sit for 30 minutes with the salt and the vinegar again after 30 minutes you want to go back in this time you're going to wash it and you're going to look for suspects i always call anything that's not supposed to be on my meat those are called suspects honey so such as feathers and anything that's not supposed to be there they are going to be gone going 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 gone wash them don't be afraid to get that lemon on that chicken skin because good cleaning meat is always good tasting meats all right the, when you clean the meat nice your food is going to taste off the chart good cooking starts whenever you start cleaning and washing your meats that's when cooking starts you know start you know put upon the stove top it starts once you take it out of the package and you clean your meat that is when cooking starts so check for feathers because we don't need no feathers dipping into no flour like some of them people that I mean, I'm not calling the name but yes we don't need no feathers we don't need no feathers to hang out in a in a flour we ain't gonna be frying no uh, fried feathers up in here today no we're not so wash them nice and clean good eh? because yes ain't nobody gonna be talking about all them coming and us come eating or fry the chicken wings and you had some friendly neighbors feathers hanging on your chicken so check them now when i get done i always clean my sink of course and I always use some disinfectant spray or something we bleach a little bit of that dishwashing liquid and wash it thoroughly just wash it wash it and wash your hands and all them something there and clean your hands up yes before you touch any get clean clean now to get started you need salt to the chicken add the salt and you need black pepper for sure and if you don't have black pepper you could use white pepper now we're gonna add some garlic powder to the mix and I did add about a teaspoon of the garlic powder all right and but I'm going to insert everything I'm gonna use here today. I will put it in my description box. Right? So yeah, the girl will do that. Now you want to add your onion powder, of course, some all-purpose seasoning, and you can switch it up if you'd like. Make it your own. If you don't want to go all-purpose seasoning, use whatever you like. All right. But make sure you season the thing. Add some chicken season for sure. Do not skip chicken seasoning. And I added lots of that. Then you want to add your paprika for color, right? Paprika are flavor to it, you know. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and add that and give it a good mix. After you give it a good mix, you want to let it hang out for about an hour. Just let it sit and chill and soak up the thing real good. Now, moving right along in a container, I added one and a half cup of all purpose flour only. Then I added a half cup of the tapioca starch. If you don't have tapioca, tapioca starch go for corn starch then I added one and a fourth cup of white sugar 
call it granted is sugar if you want white sugar right give it a good mix do not add anything else into the flour mix no onion powder no garlic powder no nothing no salt no nothing everything as was already added to your chicken now we are going to base that into the flour you're going to go ahead and soak up that flour mix just press down on it do not add no eggs no none of that stuff we are not doing that to this recipe now if you want to go ahead and do that do that but i'm showing you how i get mine nice crispy and tasting good because a lot of you guys ask me oh, can i do fried chicken without um, using eggs and milk and the answer for that is yes if you follow the steps carefully you will have the perfect chicken if you don't want to use chicken wings you could use any other chicken the same method and you're gonna have a mean fried chicken in uh, your kitchen every time straight just be sure that when you add the chicken to the flour mix you want to take your time with it and make sure you get that flour pressed into the chicken thoroughly through and through without missing any spots because remember this method is not done with milk or eggs but it is going to have the same result or even better when you finish with that step this is what the chicken looks like now we're going to just let it go ahead and sit and hang out for at least 30 minutes uncovered 40 minutes is good nothing under 30 minutes perfect and you are going to see the difference in 30 minutes 30 minutes if you look closely at the chicken you can barely see the flour because that that's when you know it is doing its magic it has done its magic now your oil has to be set to 350 degrees if it's not 350 degrees then you are going to have flour flour fried chicken wings in your kitchen right now do not overcrowd your fryer or if you're using a frying pan stove top make sure that you do not overcrowd the chicken give it room to breathe and fry thoroughly through and through for at least 12 minutes 12 minutes later that is what your chicken wings are going to look like it is nice crispy and golden cook through and through down to the very last bite all right so you're gonna have perfectly fried chicken wings i went in and added my second batch this time i did not put it into directly into the oil i placed it into the fryer pan so you could see that you could do it both way it does not matter right so that cover that when you are done with that step it is still the same result nice crispy golden brown juicy looking from the inside and all the way on the outside golden brown fried chicken wings in your kitchen that's easy and simple now we just want to take those out and just make them go ahead and chill out and we are going to make the sauce a sweet and sour sauce dip for these wings it's very easy now in a pot i went ahead and added about a half cup of ketchup now if you're going to make more chicken wings you could add a, a cup of the ketchup right then to that i added one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar only then i added a half cup of pineapple juice and two tablespoons of brown cane sugar to that i added one tablespoon of soy sauce gave it a nice little mix and twirl and all that add a good jazz yes it's very easy to make this thing now to that i added one tablespoon of cornstarch add some water to it gave it a good mix before i put it into my mixture just like so 
Now I gave it a good mix because you do not want this thing to have lumps in it. After that, this is optional. I went in with about three little dab, dab, dab of the food coloring and gave it a good mix combination. And that is all it takes. If it's too thick, be sure to add some more water to it if you like or pineapple juice and you're good to go. But when it starts bubbling, that's when you know you're all set. If you're still here watching your girl cooking, Oh, I'm so happy to have you, but make sure that you have subscribed and turn on the post notifications settings got it to be reminded every time I upload Fabulous recipes like these that you're seeing here. If you don't see what you want, always ask me Tell me what you want man, and I'm always here to what to deliver right now While you're still here watching me make sure that you have subscribed to my channel Life is Juliana the link for the channel will be in the description box So just check that out all I'm a vegan good is your recipe is over there So there is no more vegan recipes over yes, so so go ahead and subscribe 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 to that channel life is Juliana all right, good day. I saw the thing said. Now, thank you for the love and support, and I see the love and I feel it, and I love you guys so 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 much. Now, our chicken wings is all set to go, and it's ready to be devoured. Right now, yes, goody, you can make your wings. Yes, without eggs and without any form of milk base now let me show you something when you break you see how that nice and crispy mm -hmm. perfect right you break into it you see how inside of that chicken is when, it's perfect perfect and when you dunk it into that sweet and sour sauce homemade sweet and sour sauce it is everything everything mm -hmm. yes a goodie crispy crispy cr the thing is so crispy and I love the every single last bite that I took on this chicken I was feeling it and I was feeling jiggy in my bones the thing was so divine and you are going to love it <laughs> as much as I do right good air mm-hmm you're gonna love it Tina you're going to love it tell me when you do it just let me know um, that you try the recipe and you and in fact loved it as much right now thank you guys for watching and be sure to turn those post notification on tell me where you want to see me a cook down below right and, and remember as always from my kitchen to your kitchen enjoy